The influencer-driven e-commerce business market tanked last year and we have another casualty. This time, it was an empire doing the crashing. How Roman Cresto transformed one drop shipping store into a thousand store empire. Today, we'll be analyzing a little situation with an alleged empire that had the fragility of a balloon under an ottoman. I came across a massive lawsuit involving Roman alleging fraud and defamation. In a few different interviews, Roman is praised for his ability to run an eight-figure company at such a young age, but it seems that the company wasn't as legitimate as he let on investors. Uh, and Roman has built this company to eight figures, serving 700 clients worldwide in 18 months. Defendants, Roman Cresto and John Cresto, took advantage of hundreds of small business owners through an entity they formed called Empire E-Commerce LLC by enticing them into paying considerable monies for purported business opportunities upon which they never delivered. Is the CEO of Empire E-Commerce, which is the only automation service company truly automated using AI machine learning to maximize your e-commerce store's revenues and margins. What also seems to be completely automated was Amazon and Walmart's response to sellers drop shipping on their platform as they both essentially banned everyone last year. You could just drop ship on amazon.com, which already has tons of customers and traffic already, and you don't need to do any marketing, any advertising. You don't even need to build a website. All you can do, all you have to do is register for an Amazon Seller Central seller account. Lured by the promise of passive income, hundreds of small business owners paid the Crestos for their service, but soon discovered the Crestos had no intention of delivering on their word. Roman and John Cresto created a company called Empire E-Commerce LLC, which existed within the e-commerce automation space that exploded in popularity in 2020. Through Empire, defendants offered customers to build, scale, and run their customers as e-commerce stores. You know, we went from 150 stores uh, under management to what we have now, which is about 850 total stores under management. At 30K a pop in 850 stores, that would generate over $25 million in upfront capital. In terms of price point, it's usually around 45K. Uh, we have packages all the way up to $185,000 now. If true, the Crestos were making insane amounts of money from this operation, ballpark figure here, but that would mean they generated well over $30 million in overall sales. In view of mounting public exposure and legal liability, defendants sought a way to divest themselves of empire through a sale to an unwitting victim of the Crestos fraud. The complaint alleges that the Crestos' business was failing and they reached out to a gentleman named Daniel Cohen on October 26, 2022. The Crestos promised high monthly returns from the current customers. Daniel then performed due diligence and asked the Crestos about Empire's liabilities and overall legal exposure. This is where the plaintiff alleges everything went wrong. The Crestos said they had none. More on that in a minute. So you had, you started with one store yourself. Yeah. Now you've expanded to how many stores? Over 1,200. 1,200. From the outside, it appeared like the Crestos were running a massively successful operation. Losing money with an e-commerce investment is never fun, and neither is losing your info to identity theft, which is why I gladly partnered with Aura. When I first used Aura, I was impressed and horrified at how much of my personal information it was able to find and how many alerts were being sent my way. By scanning the deepest parts of the dark web, Aura finds and removes your personal information, this prevents scammers and hackers from getting their hands on your stolen passwords, emails, and social security number. I'm sure you've heard the horror stories in the news about identity theft, financial fraud, or getting hacked. I don't want that to be you, which is why Aura has the perfect solution for you and your family. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf, ensuring your digital safety. They'll even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. If you want an all-in-one service that monitors your identity and credit, gives you a VPN, password manager, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware, then check out Aura today for a two-week free trial. Go to Aura.com slash Spencer to start your two-week free trial by clicking the link in the description below or scan the QR code. Back to the video. Roman Cresto and his rise to building an e-commerce empire. Another article states that Empire E-commerce has more than 2,000 employees managing e-commerce stores for over 750 clients across the U.S. This seems like a massive eight-figure operation. I'll give you a second to think about how much this company was worth. What do you think? In reliance on the documentation and representation stated herein, Bayer agreed to purchase the company and wired the purchase price of $100,000 to sellers. When I first read this complaint, I had to do a double take. Uh, did I read that correctly? $100,000 for a company with 750 clients and 2,000 employees? Am I missing something? So we have over 30 employees in the US and then we have over 2,000 employees like the VAs with oh. their employees now okay. overseas mm. in uh, the Philippines. Part two, the curtain of defendant's deception is unveiled. This lawyer knows how to write a good complaint. This section had me on the edge of my seat. 
What happened next? Kind of what we target on each uh, month going forward from month one is anywhere from 30 to 50,000 in sales revenue in month one. Uh, and we try to get to that 100 to 2000 two hundred thousand dollar sales revenue per month range uh, in about three to five months from day one during his review daniel first learned empire was actively involved in five different open legal matters keep in mind that this is after the purchase and sale was finalized and was never disclosed in due diligence was there something the crustos were trying to hide me and my brother john were partners in this okay. business and uh my cousin who's our chief growth officer uh john you know quick side note maybe he misspoke but i have a hard time trusting someone if they can't get their story straight with details that are difficult to mess up, like family relations. Some customers have paid between $65,000 to $100,000 for age stores that they never received. One client reported paying as much as $500,000 for his four stores and said he and his father had been scammed. Daniel Cohen, the buyer, remember he didn't know that many customers were having bad experiences or there were any lawsuits. After he bought the company, he had access to their email. Daniel searched their email for fraud, scam, lawsuit, lawyer, refund, multiple multiple emails matched the search terms, the inbox was riddled with an overwhelming number of customer complaints. The complaint then lists out examples of emails from disgruntled customers. They scammed me for well over $525,000 total. I would like to request a refund for my initial investment of $120,000 immediately. On a $45,000 investment, you have yet to return a single dollar in profit and have apparently stopped working on the store. During the dispute between Dan Cohen and the Crestos, Roman went to Instagram to post a picture of this Daily Herald Tribune article titled Dropshipping Direct announces its acquisition of Empire e-commerce. The disagreements continued until a lawsuit was filed. But that's not all, I still have some more juicy stuff for you. I found the petition commencing assignment for benefit of creditors filing with the Circuit Court of Broward County, Florida. Empire e-commerce is indebted to creditors and is unable to pay its debts as such become due. An assignment for the benefit of creditors is a business liquidation device available to an insolvent debtor as an alternative to formal bankruptcy proceedings. The assignee in this matter has been given control of Empire e-commerce to pay any outstanding debt and administer the sale of any assets. Daniel Cohen, the new owner signed on behalf of Empire e-commerce. The Schedule A document indicates the company owes former employees around $50,000. Section 5 is the customers who are owed money. It isn't a small amount. There are 17 pages altogether totaling what has to be multiple millions of dollars in lost investor money. The document then includes the pending litigation, which appears to be four yet to be finalized cases. From my perspective, it seems like the Crestos didn't disclose the pending liabilities of their company, which may be why this eight-figure company with hundreds of clients and employees sold for only a hundred grand. Uh, Roman, thank you so much for, for coming down to my house here in Miami Beach and I heard you just recently moved here. What caught me by surprise with this interview is that the host, Eric J. Dalius, has some interesting results in a Google search for his name. Former convicted felon to pay $24 million to settle SEC charges for operating a Ponzi and Pyramid scheme. Eric operated a company called Savion beginning in 2015, which sold securities that entitled holders to receive 20% cash back on their retail shopping purchases every month in exchange for paying a $125 fee every 28 days and the submission of shopping receipts. Given that the SEC alleges Savion profited over $20 million, this was a pretty massive Ponzi scheme. It looks like Behind MLM had been calling out Eric for years with posts going back as far as 2018 that I could see. John's LinkedIn indicates that he's since moved on to another company after he claims Empire e-commerce was acquired by Dropshipping Direct in 2022. Our packages start at 500K. Uh, and go up to 2.5 million. The website he seemed to promote is called automators.ai. It states, learn how to create your own automation store management company with the strategies that have helped some of the top e-commerce automation companies get off the ground of getting acquired. My guess is Roman was charging his clients in this new venture on how to start an Amazon automation company. I can't imagine his services are in high demand right now with a $500,000 price tag and a pending lawsuit. Ironically enough, the Automator's website lists Ecom Partners as one of their success stories. If you watched my previous video on Alpha Influence's e-commerce automation disaster, they partnered with Ecom Partners to handle their operations. I found this site for Ecom Authority with a message from Dan Cohen who mentions he just purchased Empire Ecommerce LLC. You can see this on John's LinkedIn and there were multiple mentions in the complaint of Roman alleging that Empire Ecommerce was acquired by 
by dropshipping direct. On the automators.ai website, they allege that they are the largest automation company with $150 million in merchant sales and acquired by Ecom Authority. I've been doing my best lately to get comments from the parties discussed in my videos so I can make sure I'm closest to the truth. Roman and John did not respond to my Instagram DMs. I was left on unseen. I emailed what I believe to be Dan's email to no response. The e-commerce automation business sure has taken a hit and the operators have all been dealt a mess to clean up. On the surface, it appears the Crestos made multiple millions of dollars and threw the dumpster fire on another dude and walked away. Thanks for watching.